Bé, el nostre objectiu a l'hora de fer espai priorat és donar-los el coneixement suficient com perquè ells puguin explicar què és el priorat en els seus consumidors finals. When we arrive, we drive from uh, Barcelona to Priorize. When you see the, the roads itself, you can really realize what is Priorize. All the bush, the old wines, like 100 wines along the slopes, very steep slopes, all the slates, the different slates, different aspects. You can really understand the terroir of the Priorize. It's been a great visit, and it's been great to see the vineyards, which are beautiful. You know, they're uh, tranquil and uh, historic. I mean, they're beautiful vineyards, and the whole area is beautiful. I called my wife, I said, what, how do you feel? I said, I haven't, but I'm still alive. Nature makes Priara very special, and uh, of course, it's beautiful for tourists. It's not simple for winemakers, but Finally, you have really great wines, just because of the nature of this region. When they came here, they found this edification, they found the peace, they found the tranquility. I a partir d'aquí vam veure que teníem una història al darrere que és molt forta i a partir d'aquesta història doncs, hem, hem creat una imatge de, de, del Priorat. No? I això crec que és molt important, tradició, cultura, vers modernitat, no? amb els vins resultants. Big and intelligent, very strong, strong in alcohol, strong in their character. Everyone has their personality. Uh, I think the wine is very completely and elegant. So it's, uh, for me, it's a very good experience here. You've got more tension and uh, freshness? Yes, it's 14.5% alcohol. Yes, it's 15% alcohol. But you don't have to be afraid of it. Because these are wines that are equilibrated, but in generosity. But they're always harmonious. I have to listen to my boss, and she yeah, says you have to be at 9.30 in the Cartocha. So. Yeah, yeah, I know. The generosity of the Mediterranean climate, mais il y a vraiment un terroir, euh, il y a un terroir, il y a une minéralité dans les vins du Priorat qui, qui leur procure une fraîcheur euh, tellement agréable à table. So without the licorea, you can't make a Priorat wine. That's the most important thing. Eu digo sempre que que vinho é paisagem engarrafada e aqui é mais evidente que nunca porque se vê a paisagem do Priorat com com a, a pedra, né, com a vegetação tão agreste. E isso está transmitido na, na garrafa, claramente, nos vinhos. É, é muito clara a passagem da geografia para o copo de vinho. A natureza uh, dá a característica of the wine, the hills, the mountain, the sea, the wind, and the soil. For me, it is a very important thing uh, to understand uh, the wine. This very uh, isolated region, which is difficult and complicated to, to uh, travel around, is somehow or other brought alive by all the producers who take part. What's so exciting is we have a chance to be with the producers for 48 hours and at the same time we have a chance to exchange, exchange ideas. I can talk to Chinese uh, people, I can talk to United States people, how is Priorat in their marketplace, what's easy, what's complicated, what, are their, what do they think about Priorat wines. We've had a fabulous exchange of ideas so we work in one big group for a tasting and then we break up into small groups and then go to vineyards and wineries so it's a great learning experience but with other colleagues who we like and respect from all around the wine world. Actually, the many Japanese consumers are very really interested in the Priorat wine because uh, Priorat wine has a good prestige uh, image in the Spanish wine. The Priorat wine <coughs> goes very well with the Tepanyaki.
you know, new styles are emerging. Uh, I've discovered some uh, really good uh, whites, um, white wine, even though it's a small percentage, it's mostly red. In Russia, uh, it was impossible for me uh, to taste white wines. There are really, really uh, nice blends of different white varieties. I think that winemakers are beginning to experiment with white varieties. Priovat image is equal to the grey varieties of Garnacha. But actually, the, we can find many good wines from the Carignania. I was surprised because Carignania in people's mind is, is quite a um, rustic variety. But here you can find it becomes so elegant when they have the right orientation, the uh, more age of the wines itself, they have a really freshness. The amazing freshness when you look at the terroir here, the Mediterranean climate, and also the fine tannins, the bright, the really vibrant fruits. muito refinados, muito bem trabalhados, muito uh, sofisticados, na verdade. I vini del Priorat, come li ho potuto degustare oggi, sono dei vini che hanno una forza alcolica importante, hanno una struttura molto ricca, probabilmente dovuta al suolo di questa licoreglia che gli dà questa struttura molto ricca, però ha già la struttura tannica diversa. Alcuni hanno tannini molto raffinati, altri hanno tannini molto rigidi, per cui ecco, ci sono tante persone che interpretano il priorato in maniera molto differente. In generale però ecco dei vini molto solidi, se possiamo usare un termine per tutti. Vraiment, j'ai fait de belles découvertes, il y avait uh, Scaladei, le, le, le domaine en fait uh, qui a commencé en bouteille en 1974, donc le Scaladei original. And the wines uh, have been revived, the vineyards have been revived. The wine producers have struggled for years to create a mark. I'm very excited by the idea of Vida Vila, of a village wine. It's something really exceptional that Priorat can do. There are things in ways in which the wines differ. And I think so long as it remains a quality, so that it's, it means that Vida Vila is better than the basic Priorat, it's a very useful thing for a consumer. Then the next thing you need is what we now have, Vida Finca, which is the, the single estate wine, single vineyard wine. And that's a concept that's very important to show the distinct character, the distinct terroir. Taking the wine and having it within the, the context of the cuisine of the region, and I think that is very, very important. I mean, you can drink it at home, which is lovely, but uh, tasting it in the region with the producers give you, gives you another insight into what it is and seeing the vineyards is, is interesting and seeing the winery is interesting. I can understand Pre Alright a lot more than before just on the book and just by tasting. This is the most important thing, because a person who comes here tocca con le mani, vede, sente, capisce il clima, dopo ovviamente può comunicare molto meglio quello che è, diciamo, la tipicità dei vini del Priorat. foto que s'emporta, no? Amb totes aquestes visites, amb diferents activitats, és una de les una, bueno, una imatge fantàstica de lo que és el Priorat avui i de lo que segurament serà d'aquí de anys. És una és una ens hem reunit per parlar de tendències i per veure el que es fa i el que es farà. Les importàncies de, de certs aspectes del vi són diferents 
depèn de la part del planeta on estiguis i poder intercanviar tot això i agafar totes aquestes influències externes al final et serveix per tenir una imatge global de com es veu el Priorat i de com s'aprecia. Here is the wine, which is really honest, which is very honest to its style and it's definitely a wine which should be tasted by every wine lover. I would recommend experienced professionals to explore the region, to really drink the wines, to see, to see, to meet the winemakers, the people behind. I think to the wine professionals, this is definitely a great chance to see what is really all right. The organization Piorat brings the whole world together to experience something which comes with food and, and the respect. <laughs>